All right, Coach, uh, I guess day three of uh, preseason camp. Uh, a very intense uh, workout out here for St. Michael's this morning. Uh, how did it go and how the first three days gone? You know, it's, it's, it's gone pretty well for the first couple of days. Uh, you know, it's, you know, without pads, you can't get a lot right. done. But once you get the shells on, you know, we got to see a lot more against live bodies. But I thought it went well pretty, pretty good the first two, three days right now. You guys devote a lot of time this morning's practice to uh, the inside drill, to the running game. How, how is that? I know you told us when we talked to you about a month or so ago, you said you're looking for some running backs to step up and carry the load. How has that gone, and uh, how did the inside drill go this morning? Uh, we're, we're still looking for running backs. Uh, you know, our, our offensive line, they've come around. Uh, we got a lot of experience there, but as far as the running back, we don't have the experience that we need, so we're getting a lot of time trying to figure out who are the go-to guys right now. But uh, we have a lot of guys stepping up, and uh, you know, it's looking fairly well right now. How, how's Ant Antonio doing at quarterback? Antonio's doing real well. He's he's an experienced quarterback, and uh, you know he's going to be somebody that uh, we're going to rely on to get the ball out to our receivers, but to control the offense and make sure we're we're doing the things that we need to do uh, on on that side of the ball. Yeah. Well, you, your defensive coordinator for, for, for the last several years is now the head coach at Santa Fe, so you got a new defensive coordinator. How is uh, Coach Butler doing, and how is he? How's, how's the defense looking overall? He's doing. He's doing great. He's been part of the program for the last seven years, so he knows exactly what what I expect. But uh, he knows the kids. He works well with the kids, and uh, you know they're responding to him uh, really good right now. And I think uh, you know he's going to get these kids going, and they're going to be working hard for him. Is it easy to keep your kids motivated when you know your first games against one of your one of your <laughs> one of your, your city rivals and against your your former assistant coach who yeah. also obviously knows a little bit about your offense? So that might be maybe a little bit more challenging game than people think. Yeah, it's it's going to be a fun game. You know, that's something we're looking forward to. Usually, you don't uh, go against a coach that's uh, been on your staff first game and his first game ever as a head coach. But uh, you know, me and him have been coaching together for 15 years, and uh, he knows what to to expect from me, and I know what to expect from him. So you know, both of us are going to be trying to do some different things uh, to try to get the advantage against each other. But, uh, you know, keeping these kids motivated is something that uh, I really don't need to do right now because uh, our kids, they're going to be thinking about that first game. And, uh, you know, just like I tell them, week to week. So the first game is the main goal right now. Also, you guys made the semifinals last year. What's it going to take this year for St. Mark's to get to that championship game and, and to win it all? Well, there's a number of things that need to happen. Uh, we need to start responding, becoming a team, a brotherhood that we always yeah. talk about. And, uh, you know, everybody has to, to buy into that. Uh, main thing that's happened to us the last couple of years, injuries. Injuries have depleted us. And, uh, you know, if we can stay away from injuries and stay healthy throughout the year, throughout the year, uh, I think, uh, you know, we can make a deeper run. Thanks, Coach.